Decisions could come down tomorrow for Oklahomans who have lost loved ones. Those who oversee the medical examiner's office are calling for a special Saturday meeting. That could mean relief for Oklahoma families frozen in grief because of either pending death certificates or backlogged autopsies. Colleen Chen filed this report. Tell us the truth. There have been protests and there have been tears. My sister Shanda was shot, murdered. From people like the Turners, who say they we and Shanda, the daughter they lost, are all victims of a big mess at the ME's office. It's been a horrific experience trying to deal with the ME's office concerning my daughter's death. From lawsuits against the once chief investigator, to the firing of the chief medical examiner, to the recent resignation of the chief administrative officer. I think uh, Tom Jordan's departure may have played into the um, moving up the date. A board meeting's now been bumped up to Saturday. One item on the special meeting's agenda stands out. The last one is discussion and possible employment of the chief medical examiner. Spokeswoman Cherokee Ballard says the board will discuss and could decide on an interim leader or a permanent chief. I've had a few names thrown out, yeah. Absolutely. So we'll see what happens. It's just an urgent time for us. So they felt like it was important to get together, uh, even on a Saturday, to address some important concerns. We feel it is urgent because we want to ensure our future. We want to know where we're going and we want the folks of the state of Oklahoma to believe that we are taking this seriously. And we are. For the Turners, who say their daughter did not commit suicide, but have proof she was murdered and want the cause of death changed, reorganization could not come soon enough. Changes need to happen that we don't want other families being treated and going through the emotional distress and financial burden that's being put on many of us. Colleen Chen, News 9. And tomorrow's board meeting is scheduled for 10 a.m. at the State Medical Examiner's Office in Oklahoma City. News 9 will be there to bring you any important developments.